this is Evesham Road uh, where we have got the Z Control Unit trial strips. Uh, Tim just cutting uh, two lots of ten and a half metre wide strips with the Z Control Unit disengaged. So this is without the seed cracking uh, technology <coughs> deployed. Uh, the strip in between has had the seat control unit uh, engaged as has this patch here and the patch the other side of these and um, with the boffins network NIAB tag have been out to assess the population of weeds prior to combining um, <clears throat> and then this morning I took some samples of the actual heads themselves, 20 from each field, to try and look at the numbers of seeds that are still attached to the crop, to the plants, um, on the day of combining. Um, and then when this greens up, when we do get some rain, uh, we will be able to come back here and assess uh, the percentage of kill um, that the seed control unit has delivered um, on these particular weeds. So in this field, uh, the problem weeds will be meadow brome and also black grass. Uh, there's little patches um, all over the field of, of both. Um, so it's going to be fascinating to see uh, what impact we've had on that or those two particular weeds. Um, some of the meadow brome has still uh, got a lot of seeds attached. Um, and the black grass is really variable. So there's a black grass plant there, look, with a few seeds, well, one or two seeds on it. And then just over here, there's another one which is almost completely still intact. Uh, there's another one there that's got some seeds attached and these ones here have completely gone. So um, I think season by season, this is gonna vary. Uh, there's a bit of meadow brome there that has got full complement of seeds attached um, so we'll have to see um, what these benefits are likely to be but uh, that will all be published in due course.